Hey everyone, today I'd like to talk about the sum, sumif, and sumif functions in Microsoft Excel. These functions all do the same thing in that they add the total amount from a range, for example this range we have created here, but they do it in different ways. Sum does it given no criteria, sumif uses one criteria, sumif uses two or more. So for our video, we created this fake data table on the left of a company with different employees, the age of those employees, which branch they work at, Hartford, New York, Boston, or Philadelphia, and the amount of sales they had with the company. So first, we're gonna go with sum, which is just the total amount of a range. So we're gonna find the total sales of the company. So what we'll do is when we click on this cell here where we want the total to be displayed, we'll type in equals, then we'll type in sum, S-U-M, open our parentheses, and then select our range by clicking and dragging over the entire range, D2 to D21. You could also type it in like this, and we'll hit enter, and find that the total sales of the company are $1,339,200. Next, we use the SUMIF function to find the total of a range given one criteria. So what we want to do is we want to find the total of the same range, D2 to D21, given that the criteria is matching employees that work at the Boston branch. So how you're going to do this is you're going to start the same way, except using SUMIF. You'll type in equals SUMIF, S-U-M-I-F, open your parentheses, select the same range for sales, D2 to, or rather, C2 to C21. You're gonna select this range first because this is the conditional range, and then your condition will be entered next. First, you'll add a comma, and then you'll enter your criteria for this range, and you'll type in quotations, Boston, comma, space, M-A, and then end quotations. That's in quotations, so it has to be exactly how it appears in this column. And then you'll add another comma and select the range being summed, which is the sales range, D2 to D21. So you can see under here, we have the proper guidance for us. So we have sum if, our range, C2 to C21, which is the range of our criteria, the criteria itself, which is Boston, Massachusetts, and the sum range. So that means we are summing cells in D2 to D21, given that their counterpart cell in C2 to C21 is exactly Boston MA. We'll hit enter and find that the total sales from the Boston branch are equal to $452,000. Now we can go one step further and add a third criteria, or rather a second criteria, and that would be total sales from employees over age 50 at the Boston branch. That's our SUMIFS function. So again, we'll click on the cell we want the SUMIFS to appear, and we'll hit equals, type in SUMIFS, S-U-M-I-F-S, open our parentheses, and we will select the sum range first in this one. In some if the sum range went at the end, but for some ifs, the sum range will go first. So we'll highlight the sum range, which is D2 to D21, add a comma, and now we'll select the first range of criteria. We'll do the branch again, C2 to C21. In the criteria for that range, we'll add a comma, and then in quotations, type in Boston, comma, space, M-A, end quotations. And now we can move on to the next criteria. So we'll add a comma and highlight the range for age, which is B2 to B21, and then add another comma to enter the criteria we are using for the age range, which will be people that are 50 years or older. So in quotations, you will type in the greater than sign and equals, and then 50, end quotations. So this would be greater than or equal to 50. If you got rid of equals, it would just be people um, older than 50. So now we can hit enter, that everything is all set, and we find that total sales from employees 
over age 50 at the Boston branch are $258,800. So that's pretty much it for these three functions. And with the sum ifs function, you could go even further and um, add more criteria, add more columns, and keep going. It's not just two criteria, it's two or more. So the possibilities are pretty much endless with sum ifs. I hope you learned something from this video and hopefully you can apply these functions to your own spreadsheets. They're pretty useful and I use them a lot. And if you did learn something, a like would be much appreciated. Thank you.